today's video, I'm going to be taking a question from a viewer. So I'm going to read the email real quick. I'm going to give the shorthand version. Uh, but they emailed in to kaijumathematics at gmail.com. And they say, this is the short version. They say that they are currently in Calc 3. And so far, the class has been a slight. And they got to triple integrals and having a little bit of a struggle and would like a little bit of some explanation, making sure I understand triple integrals correctly. So that's a short version. But I'm going to go ahead and do a triple integral problem. Now, it has been a quite a bit of some time since I've seen a triple integral. So I had to do a little bit of some practice. I did a couple practice problems before I generated this problem. But on the surface, triple integrals look very intimidating because you see these three integrals. You see the dx, dy, dz, or sometimes it's out of order, or even you get into like d thetas and just all these different scenarios. So the intimidation factor is very heavy with triple integrals. But here's what I want you to think of when you're looking at triple integral. You're just taking an integral at a time. For example, in this one, we have 0 to 4, 0 to 3, 0 to 1, x squared over 2 plus 2y plus z to the third, dx, dy, dz. So what you're doing to start off is you're just looking at this integral and this part of the dx, dy, dz portion. So you're looking at the integral from 0 to 1, all of that, dx, that's it. That's the first part of the triple integral. And then the second kind of intimidation factor with triple integrals is, well, I see a y, I see a z, how do I deal with that when I'm just integrating with respect to x? Because it just asks for dx. Here's what you want to think of. If I give you the integral of x, and I ask you to integrate it with respect to y. So the integral of x dy. Well, I just have the variable x, so I treat x as a constant here. So my answer, the integral of x dy, would just be x y, because I don't have a y to integrate. That's what you want to do when you're going through this. So right here, you're integrating with respect to x, so any other variable is just a constant. When you get to this portion with the y, any other variable is just a constant. Because if I gave you the integral of, let's say, the number, the constant 2, dx, you would know that the integral of 2 with respect to x, there is no x, so it becomes 2x. Same thing here. If I asked you to integrate x, there is no y, because I'm asking you to integrate from, with respect to y. You just have to put in a y. That's all you have to do with triple integrals. You take it one integral at a time, and then you just integrate with respect to that term. So let's go ahead and start this portion. So I'm going to do that first integral, just like how I, how I had brackets around it. I'm going to do 0 to 1, this whole statement with respect to x, the dx first. So for my first portion, so let me rewrite my integral here. So 0 to 4, 0 to 3, and then this is going to become x to the third over 6, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2yx plus z to the third x and this is running from zero to one and then you could even put in that dy dz so now we have to do the definite integral portion where we're evaluating the endpoints so we have to do f of one minus f of zero for this problem though just to save myself a little bit of some time on this video and to save myself a little bit of time with the um, like not having to go to different pages or anything in my document here. I'm not going to do the f of zero portion because we're going from zero to some value. So whenever I plug in zero, it's just going to zero out. Like on this one, zero to the third plus two y times zero plus z to the third times zero. It's all going to zero out. So we're just going to do this f of one, f of three, f of four, just to save this video a little bit of some time. So I'm going to do the integral of zero to four. Integral of zero to four the integral of 0 to 3, and I'm plugging in 1, so this is going to be 1 to the third, which is 1, so 1 sixth, plus 2y times 1 is 2y, plus z to the third times 1 is z to the third, and this is dy dz, and I don't have to do the f of 0, because it's just going to be 0, so we're subtracting off 0. Okay, next, now we are taking this integral from 0 to 3, with respect to y. I have 1 sixth, that's a constant. So this is gonna be the, let me go this way, the integral from zero to four of 1 sixth y plus two y squared over two. The twos are gonna drop out there. 
plus z to the third uh, y. And this is going from 0 to 3. And then we have dz. Now let's do 3. Plug in 3 into anywhere where we see a y. So I'm going to have, let's go down here. Get this down a little bit. So we're going to have the integral from 0 to 4. And this is going to be 1 sixth times 3 plus 3 squared plus z to the third times 3. And this is dz. So we're going to have the integral from 0 to 4. 1 sixth times 3 is going to be 1 half plus 3 squared is 9 plus 3 times z to the third is 3z to the third and that's dz and i know i could do 1 half plus 9 i'm going to leave it alone just to save myself the stress of adding these fractions and just creating more work for ourselves because it really doesn't matter we're going to end up combining like terms at the end anyway so i'm just going to move forward with this so let's go over here integrating with respect to z one half is a constant so this is going to be one half z plus nine z plus three z to the fourth over four and this is running from zero to four plugging in four this time so let's do one half times four plus nine times four plus three times four to the fourth over four. One half times four is gonna give us two plus nine times four is 36 plus, and this is gonna be three times four to the third. Just wanna make sure I get that. It's gonna be 192. Um, so 192 there. Combine all that. 2 plus 36 plus 192 gives us an answer of 230. So there it is. The answer to the triple integral. 0 to 4, 0 to 3, 0 to 1. That whole statement. Uh, dx, dy, dz comes out to be 230. So if you think of triple integrals just as what it is three integrals in a row being evaluated, then it's a lot more manageable. But if you get very overwhelmed to start when you're seeing that dx, dy, dz, just start breaking it off into problems. Just say, all right, I'm gonna do this problem. Here, here's problem number one, I'm gonna do that. Once I get that answer, I'm gonna throw it back in here. Now I have problem number two. Okay, do that. Now I have problem number three. So it's just a process that keeps on working off that previous integral. So don't let yourself get intimidated by triple integrals. Uh, but there's the answer. So thanks for emailing in with that question, and I hope this helps.